<laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Just... No, it's... It, oh, the put put rotation! The surprise try lane can we get a rewind and see if he was just sitting in the trees that entire time? We certainly can. Oh my god, he actually was. Alright, let's uh, let's keep rewinding <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> Why hello there friends and welcome to another video. We are going to try out something a little new this week. Uh, this is going to be a pub perspective. Basically we're going to be just scouring the uh, the nether regions of Dota pubs and, and just take a look at sort of what goes on. We want to tell you guys a little bit of a story about what it means to be a herald in this video. And we figured that we would just try and learn a little bit about you know, what makes this a Herald Legion Commander spammer and, and how he plays the hero. And we hope that you enjoy it. We might learn some stuff. We might get some laughs. Uh, it's all in good fun, though. We're not trying to flame the guy. And we just kind of want to enjoy uh, a different perspective on the game. So let's get right into it. This bracket is the Chaos Realm. These people are are just the most chaotic people maybe evil maybe neutral maybe lawful they are in chaos incarnate and we can see that our our friend here has the, 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 pudge didn't react. the pudge didn't react at all to that yeah he was probably afk dota is a complete battle of information and so you know that's why I, I, to I actually totally understand people that, you know, go AFK and they're, they're kind of playing the, the game casually. I understand the idea behind it. it you know, it's a video game. It's meant, it's meant for fun. Um, they're not tr maybe necessarily trying to find all this information and do the number crunching. Uh, but Dota definitely is a game where it pays dividends to not waste any time, not go AFK, not pause, yep. uh, not alt tab, because there's so much information to consume on the map and it's it's actually of value to uh to take that in and, and change your play based on it i do like actually the i said it was going to be impossible to find anything good in herald replays but i i do at the very least like the fact that he nuked the entire wave hit the cm and the luna at the same time yep and pushed the wave because now they're going to get level two first and when you get level two first well, you have four spells and they have two. So a lot of the time that can actually be the straw that broke the camel's back in a laning stage. You can win a lane that you shouldn't be able to by getting level two first. So um, one thing I will say though, is <laughs> coming out with the Robe of Magi, I, I understand the intention behind this. It, it's, you have to like dig a couple levels in, but he's like, I'm using my mana a lot. I need more mana. Therefore, I'm going to buy an item that gives me intelligence and also builds into blade mail. But you need mana faster than six intelligence is going to give you the regen for, right? Right. This is basically just greed. This is just extremely greedy and not, not efficient early game itemization. Of course, I mean, it's Herald, but you could, you could, the, the idea behind it's not bad. You yeah. know, it's it's just being really greedy and wanting to have an item that does all of that in terms of the regeneration, and then also, like you said, builds into something that you're going to eventually use. But uh, unfortunately, <laughs> Sorry. Just... No, it's it, oh the put put rotation, the surprise try lane. Can we get a rewind and see if he was just sitting in the trees that entire time? We certainly can. Oh my fucking god, he actually was. All right, let's uh, let's keep rewinding a little bit. <laughs> it's uh, one minute in. All right, let's uh, let's go back oh to about God. thirty seconds in. Oh, he's still there. Hasn't moved once. He was there. <laughs> so I put this on sixteen times speed. Oh, 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 he's moving. Oh, 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 oh. He's moving. He's not AFK. He sent something with the courier. He brought two clarities. I mean, yeah, he's moving he his camera. Here. <laughs> oh, that's the punch player perspective. Yeah. Just sitting there for two minutes doing literally nothing. He's going to hit a sick hook here, though. It's coming up. Oh. Here it is. He almost <laughs> missed. He almost missed the hook, but he did hit it. And he gets I got to say, if you're that patient, I wouldn't expect that either. <laughs> yeah. 
I wouldn't expect a punch to sit for two minutes doing nothing. <laughs> so, Legion Commander respawns. He has about 500 gold in his stash. And he immediately TPs top. Obviously, there's a couple big problems with that. However, at the same time, he is checking in the other lanes. This is his perspective. He's looking at bottom and to see how it's going. He's, he's seeing whether his Drow needs help, whether his Marana needs help. No, 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 no. Nope, nope. He's seeing, he's pit, he's pissed that Pudge is top and that this Pangolier isn't dead. Fair That's enough. Why he, <laughs> Fair he's enough. Flaming. He's flaming. You see the pings. I saw the pings. That's true. And so um, he's going like straight blade mail. Straight blade mail. Which, okay. okay. You know, one thing that we have noticed from looking at some of our replay reviews, and the lower you go in MMR, the lower the mechanical skill goes. So blade mail kind of seems like the perfect item to build in every Herald game, because people are just going to hit you when you have blade mail on. Yeah, not bad. Uh, I definitely don't mind the idea of just rushing a blade mail. I mean, I'd probably go boots first, but there are Legion Commander games where people will go like phase boots blade mail. And it's not that bad because you're very tanky. And if they do try to run at you, you just press blade mail and duel them. And so you can kind of control an area of the map if you have a blade mail. And because because nobody feels like they're like, oh, well, shit, I don't want to go in this guy. He's going to reflect my damage. And nobody has a way of dealing with it at this point. So it's actually not that bad. But obviously going literally straight blade mail, no boots, no, no region, region yeah. is, is not the play. But it's it's like formulating itself to be a possible good idea it just needs a little bit of a little bit of work i mean you know the crazy thing is the big mistakes are really not that hard to fix at all yeah. it's literally just like buy more regen and go google a build for legion commander <laughs> and i think this guy will gain a thousand mmr yeah probably because he's Doing oh largely okay things. I mean, he's pressuring just... pressuring the Luna like he's bodying the Luna off the creep yeah. wave. That's yeah, that's just, legitimately it, high level play right there. It's just that he has really stupid items, <laughs> so it's it, it's making the whole game like impossible. He had to walk back to base already. All right, I'm gonna run this one back because I saw this one coming a mile off. I knew he was gonna a click the Luna under tower and immediately start taking tower shots here. So there it is. Luna should die. Oh, but I'm right clicking the Luna and now the tower is killing me. So unfortunately, the dive does not go well. What's the remedy for that, Jenkins? How could he fix that play? Well, there are two options. Uh, one of them is very easy. You can just not dive towers. That'll <laughs> fix it. But if you want to get a little more advanced with it, you can dive, but you have to understand how tower mechanics works. Gets a six, gets a blade mail at a decent timing. Oh, does he go for the immediate duel? He blade mailed, he pressed all the buttons. Did That's not easy to do. There's a <laughs> lot of buttons to press for Legion. Yep, two. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So 12 minutes in, we got our blade mail. We're going for treads, I assume. Hopefully not a Midas. Uh, trying to push a tower, and he's going to actually cut the wave, which is a solid play. I would use press the attack most likely because you might need that to save yourself. But at the very least, he's putting tower pressure on, and the Pangolier can't do much about it. Oh. Tombstone. This is uh, this is a great lesson in target priority uh, and being realistic with whether you have the ability to kill somebody. They're going after the one hero that they cannot catch very easily, right? <laughs> At this point in the game, trying to catch a Pangolier, nigh impossible with their lineup. Unless he walks into you and gets dueled. But it was it because his team was behind him. He was baiting. So uh, usually the case. If somebody's playing overly aggressively or more aggressively than you would play in a situation, chances are there's not just that hero there, right? And you should probably back off and reevaluate the situation. Right, exactly. Blade milling the tower. I can see why you would do that. I can see why you would think that works. 
I, I understand Imagine that. if that did work. Everybody would be Centaur. So here we are, 18 minutes in. He's got Treads, Blade Mail still, level 12. Kind of just AFK farming while his team dies to Bloodseeker, it seems like. Uh, Moonlight Shadow is used. He's hiding, waiting for an unsuspecting target. Oh, there he is. Did not press all the buttons this time. Probably wouldn't have mattered. Yeah. Doesn't have the damage at this point. Mm -mm. Just kind of like a misread on, on the damage. No vision, so Pudge can just TP in. You don't know who else is there. I mean, obviously there are no good wards on the map. Yeah, but again, you know, this is a pretty easy fix, right? All you need to do is play with your team at this point to get dual damage. It's not like Legion Commander is this hero that's running around solo killing people. I feel like there's a, a huge misconception about Legion Commander that Legion Commander is like this solo killing snowballer. It's like, no, you just go play with your team and you get duels because your team has damage. Yeah. It's like they need to help push the snowball at the start, you know, and yeah. then maybe you get huge enough that they can, they don't need to push it anymore, but exactly. Uh, either way, what's, you know, any extra momentum on a snowball is going to make it bigger. So just keep, keep getting that momentum from your team, no matter what. Also, you're really close to the blink dagger. At this point, I would kind of just farm it. Here's the issue with Dota compared to some, some other games. I mean, this is just an issue with game games in general, but if you have 2,000 gold, it's equivalent to having nothing. Yeah. You spend it on a Blink Dagger, all of a sudden you are way stronger even though your net worth stays exactly the same. That, that's, that's the thing. Is you, can have the, you can have a lead, but if it's unspent gold, it doesn't do anything. So that's why, economically speaking, it's fine to just farm for two extra seconds, ensure you're not exerting any pressure on the map, but it's because you just want to guarantee that you get to that item purchase, the item pickup. Uh, yeah, so that way you can do more. It's actually crazy if you think about it. You subtract 2,200 gold from his current net worth, and he is actually third from the bottom, barely above the Marana and the Undying. So yeah, <laughs> this fight that's happening is this is as if there are three position five supports on his team, basically, because right, exactly. he, he is one of them. <laughs> exactly. If you think your Marana and Undying are useless in this game, well, I got some bad news for you, because you have the same net worth that they do. <laughs> exactly. Uh, this is a good dual target. Unfortunately, no blade mail. I think he probably kills him if he uses the blade mail there, but he's saving it for the Luna ultimate, it looks like, which is relatively intelligent play. Obviously, not blade mailing for the duel is bad, but having the kind of awareness to recognize that blade mail is extremely good against Eclipse because it's uncontrollable damage output is pretty cool. You have to, if you're playing a hero like Legion Commander or Centaur or Axe, any of these like jump heroes, you have to be realistic about the heroes that you're trying to kill, like we already talked about, and like when you're going to initiate depending on who on your team is near you yep in this game marana and undying are basically couriers they don't do anything <laughs> but drow and ta actually do damage yep. so the reason that duel looked so horrendous wasn't because oh this game is over it's unwinnable we, we don't have damage the duel didn't happen around damage dealers that's that's right. the problem i see this happen a lot where people are really unrealistic there. They think they can't win a game because it's like, oh, I went in and I pressed my button. It's like you pressed your button, but you pressed it around the wrong heroes. You have to press it around the heroes that can actually do shit when you press your button. Yeah, and that, and that goes for any like big team fight hero too. Like, you know, it doesn't matter if you hit a five-man Echo, five-man Chronosphere, if there's no follow-up for it. And uh, so you can be like, you know, I, I did my job, right? I hit five-man Chronosphere, but if nobody dies in your Chronosphere, it's as if you basically didn't hit anybody. You're better off just not using it at that point. Yeah. It's just a waste. All right, this game looks mad over. 14k <laughs> gold lead, 23 minutes. So uh, as we come to the conclusion of this video, uh, you know, shout out to everybody for, uh, for playing Dota at whatever level you play Dota at. And... Um, we hope you enjoyed this one. You know, it's just kind of a fun look at the Herald level of play. 
let us know what you thought of this type of content in the comment section below and uh maybe what skill level we should look at in our next one we're just kind of you know we're interested to see what goes on at the different brackets so that we have a better understanding of what we should be teaching you guys in our videos fucking end the video let's get out check us out on patreon.com slash dota alchemy if you're into coaching if you're into replay reviews if you're into streams where you get to tell donnie and i what the fuck we do with our lives and have complete control over our autonomy then you can go to patreon.com slash dota alchemy and check that out today thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video